Hello everyone, welcome to Brilliant Botany. I am Chetana. Today I am in front of you with a new chapter of a second PU that is Genetics. So in the genetic part, we are going to study principles of inheritance and variation chapter. So principles of inheritance and variation. So the weightage of this chapter for board examination is about 12 marks. Okay, this is for board examination. I'm coming to neat point of view. So in the neat examination, you are going to get it for 24 marks. That means how many questions will be there? Six questions. So each question carries four marks. So totally you will be getting 24 marks for neat examination. So this principles of inheritance and variation chapter. Here you are going to study mainly about what is genetics and also you are going to study how characters are getting transferred from parents to their half springs. Okay, that itself is called as genetics. To understand this chapter very clearly, we shall understand the definition of genetics. So what is genetics? It is a branch of biology which deals with the study of transfer and as well as variation. Or you can also see that it is a branch of biology which deals with the study of inheritance and variation. So let me write the definition on the board. It is a branch of biology that means genetics is a branch of biology which is going to deal with deal with inheritance inheritance and variation so here in this definition you can see two different words that is inheritance and as well as variation. So what is this inheritance and as well as variation? See we know that from parents to half springs that is from parents to half springs. So few characters are getting transferred from our parents to half springs. Okay, so that is called as inheritance. See, we are showing some of the characters of our parents. So why we are showing the characters of our parents? Because those genes from our parents are getting transferred to half springs. That's the reason why we are showing some of the characters of the parents. Right? And next. So we are not resembling our parents 100 percent. Yes or no? We show some characters like 20%, 50% of the character of offsprings may resemble with the parents, but not 100%. What about that remaining 50%? So that is called as variations. That means the 50% of the characters that were resembling are called as inheritance. And those characters which shows variation that means those characters which are not resembling our parents is called as variation so variation means these are the different characters so in this chapter that's what you are studying how characters are getting transferred from our parents to half springs and how we are showing the characters of our parents Okay, by what reason? And also, you are going to study how we are showing the different characters. So, overall chapter includes inheritance and as well as variation. So, we can say this principles of inheritance of variation comes under genetics because of this reason. Because in this chapter, you are going to study completely about inheritance and as well as variation. Okay, so this is about genetics. So next, 
a scientist called as Mendel. Mendel or Gregor John Mendel. Okay, so he is called as father, father of genetics. So later you will come to know why Gregor John Mendel is called as father of genetics. Okay, he performed like series of experiments to show that the characters are getting transferred from parents to half springs. Understood? So that series of experiments are nothing but artificial hybridization, hybridization or it is also called as cross pollination so hopefully you got an idea like what experiment he did right so in the previous chapter like in sexual reproduction flowering plants we have studied what is this uh, artificial hybridization and as well as cross pollination actually both are one and the same and i hope you know the difference between self pollination and cross pollination right so here Grigor John Mendel performed a series of experiments to show the transfer of characters that is inheritance of characters and also to show variation. But actually we should not mention the word variation here. Why? Because Grigor John Mendel throughout his experiment he explained only about the inheritance of characters. That means how half springs are going to receive characters. Okay. He did not explain about variation. So this point you should keep in your mind and which is going to help you for your NEET or KCT examination. Clear to you? So this is about Grigor John Mendel. And now we are going to see the experiments performed by Grigor John Mendel. Okay. So in order to perform his experiment, that is headed cross pollination which is also called as artificial hybridization so to perform this experiment we require some of uh, what do you call for that materials or requirements will be there for the uh, performance of any experiment correct so he required pea plant for his experiment so only through this pea plant he was able to come to a conclusion that how how springs are receiving the characters from parents okay so now let's see by using this pea plant how it proved the process of inheritance in the living organisms so after taking pea plant what he did is he searched for the contrasting characters okay so in the contrasting carrot you know that the meaning of the word contrast right that means opposite so okay uh, here we can see the contrasting characters of pea plant and among those contrasting character so he came to a conclusion that a few characters were called as dominant and few characters were called as recessive. Before knowing the dominancy and uh, recessive meaning we shall see what are these contrasting characters of pea plant. Okay so now I am going to draw a table first is character okay and next we are going to see whether that com, uh, character is dominant or recessive okay or which character is dominant and which character is recessive coming to a first character first character is height of pea plant height of a pea plant so coming to height what will be the contrasting character one will be tall another one will be dwarf okay so these are the contrasting characters see dominant was tall character and recessive character was dwarf that means see here you have to understand that see height of a plant actually you cannot see that all the pea plants will be having same height okay so one will be of taller one will be 
dwarf so taking that point to his mind he has taken this height of a plant as one of the contrasting character okay so it may be tall or it may be dwarf but after cross pollinating one tall plant with a dwarf plant he was able to see that half spring was tall what does it mean the dominant character is getting expressed in the half springs i'll tell you through example see if this is a pea plant okay it is taller and another plant is shorter let us call it as a plant and this as b plant okay so when a cross pollination has been made between these two pea plants both of them are pea plants but they are differing in their height so when cross is made between these two half spring obtained of spring obtained was taller so that means the genes which are responsible for the tall character was expressed in the half springs okay but the genes responsible for the dwarf character of a plant was not expressed in the half spring why because so the gene responsible for the dwarfness is recessive recessive means it is not going to express dominant means it is expressing its character understood so dominant always expresses its character whereas recessive will never express its character why because see why because one is dominant one is recessive so who is going to win always a dominant has to win so that's the reason how these when these two plants are crossed the half springs which is getting is showing the dominant character clear so here tall is expressing in the half spring so we can call it as dominant character and since dwarf character is not expressed in a half spring we can call it as recessive character okay so coming to the second contrasting character the second contrasting the character was seed seed color okay so seed color in case of a uh, pea plant actually we can see two types of colors two different colors of seeds one is yellow another one is green okay so here we consider yellow as a dominant character green as a recessive character why because why when the pea plant containing a green color seed sorry yellow seed color was crossed with the pea plant which was containing green seed color plant so the half spring obtained was yellow colored seed plant so we can call this character as dominant character so next is seed shape okay so seed shape was again two types one was round another one was wrinkled wrinkled okay again here round is called as dominant character wrinkled is called as recessive character you know the reason and next is pod we can write it as pod color first pod color okay again it was of two types one is green another one is yellow okay so please don't get confused here for seed color the dominant character is yellow for pod color the dominant character is green so what is that pod actually see seeds are nothing but the peas okay so which are like this then what do you mean by pod see here so pod will be like this yes or no so inside to the pod we can see some seeds that means to say pod is nothing but fruit 
okay this entire structure is called as fruit or it is pod so inside this is a seed clear yes so next character is pod shape okay so pod shape here inflated and constricted okay so if the pod shape is inflated means if it is uh, swelled somewhat it is, if it is bulged we can it call it as inflated and if it is somewhat restricted like this it is called as constricted which is a recessive character why because we usually don't see this character in half springs or young ones we usually see this character in case of young ones because this is dominant character okay so next is flower position okay so flower position means position of a flower in plant so it may be axial or it may be terminal okay so it may be axial or it may be terminal i'll show you how again if this is a pea plant axial means you can see at the axial part that is this is called as axial at the axis okay and what is that terminal yes if this is a plant the terminal part is here okay so this is the terminal position and this is the axial position you have to make out the difference okay so this axial is called as dominant character and as well as terminal is called as recessive characters okay so these are the pair of contrasting characters so that means to say contrasting means one will be exactly opposite to another so dominant these are all the dominant characters in the pea plant and these are all the recessive characters in a pea plant so this question may be asked in your board examination for about 3 marks understood so from that time i am telling you that i only about the pea plants he selected some of the contrasting colors in the or contrasting characters in the pea plant so why i am telling only about pea plant so there is also a reason for selecting for uh, selecting only the pea plant for the purpose of cross pollination and or uh, artificial hybridization we'll come to know the reason why uh, selecting only pea plants for this purpose later on classes okay so these points are very much important so you have to remember the seven pairs of contrasting character and this seven pairs of contrasting character was selected in pea plant the reason i'm going to tell in the later on classes okay so this is highly important